I'm Joseph Falvo, Certified Financial Planner. Today we're going to talk about making and entrusting investment decisions. Now, sometimes investing is easy, sometimes it's more difficult. The last decade, except for a handful of temporary downturns, it has been relatively easy, right? We had very low interest rates, low inflation, lots of fiscal and monetary policy, and stock markets are pretty positive. As a matter of fact, since 2009, the S&P 500 was up 16% a year nearly um, since 2009. Now, as long as you didn't make the mistake that many people did, which was bail during the one of the temporary corrections, investors did pretty well otherwise. So let's talk a little bit about decision-making under uncertainty. Investors face a very different environment today. Right now, throughout those 10 years, the future was always uncertain. All right, and quite frankly, the future is always uncertain. It always feels uncertain. Today's environment actually feels more uncertain. Why? We're living in a time of increased inflation, increasing interest rates, tighter fiscal and monetary policy. Okay, so making good decisions is always desirable, but when we face greater uncertainty, it's important that we trust whatever decision we make. And decisions that may look bad in the short run may wind up being quite profitable in the long run and vice versa, right? So how can we develop greater confidence in our decisions and trust them even when they may not look so great in the short run, right? The decision in the short run may not look great, but over the long run, it is a great one. So here are three steps to trusting your decisions. One, take your time, right? Normal and natural to react to things quickly based on your emotions and your intuition. The brain wants to solve things quickly, wants us out of pain, right? So we need to engage that part of brain that reflects and doesn't react quickly and looks for additional information and takes its time. Number two, gather information. We should spend a significant chunk of our time gathering information, including information that co contradicts all right, this helps us see things from various points of view rather than the loudest or most repeated viewpoint. That viewpoint is usually financial media hysteria. Number three, talk it out with me. I would love to help you gather information, ask the right questions, and have a thoughtful discussion, including an honest and independent third party in your decision making to help you think and talk through things is one of the best things we can do, especially anytime we face an important choice. So, obviously, we cannot control or predict the markets, and that is okay because we can control how we think, analyze, and respond to the markets. Now, I have found in my experience, I have found that investors respond, that the way investors respond has a significant impact on their ultimate results. I am here to help you obtain the desired results despite challenging markets. I hope this message helps you.